Hello guys, what's up? Long time no chat about the apartment stuff. I can't believe we're talking about this. I'm filming this intro because I have a little bit of an update, an apartment update. I was living in Portland, moved out of my apartment in June. I've been living at my parents' house while I'm in nursing school, saving some money, and trying to figure out where I want to live next. I think I told you guys a couple of videos ago that I was planning on leaving or reevaluating the situation in January. So I bet a lot of you guys are surprised to see this video in your inbox. Here is how we got here. I have been eyeing this one particular area and actually specifically a particular building that was being built. I would drive by it on my way to school all the time. Kept like keeping my eyes out. I wanted as much information as I could about the name of it, the layouts, the price. I wanted to know it all. A couple weeks ago, I was driving around and I saw on the side of the building that there's this beautiful banner hanging up. It was like, go to this website and you can see all of our layouts and tour. And I'm like, what the heck? This place is not even done yet. Like, why is it open for touring? But sure enough, I went to the website and there was like tons of information, lots of different layouts. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to tour. This is such a gift. A lot of people move in the summertime. So there's a lot of movement. People are leaving their apartments. People are coming into the apartments. So many people, I feel like moved this cycle that there was not a lot of availability. Then I was like, you know, wouldn't it be nice to look at a brand new building because I can just tour as many units as I want and I can really pick the unit that speaks to me. So that's basically how this got started. They were pre-leasing for a move-in starting in January. So I was really excited. I was like, this is perfect timing. I'll sign my lease now I'll have something to look forward to. I can go shopping. I can plan it out. I kind of hate that for most apartment buildings. It's like you do the apartment shop and then they hold it for like maybe 10 days or maybe two weeks and that's it. And then you have to be like ready to go moving in. And I'm like, God, it's so hard to get all of your stuff together and shop for like a particular layout when you don't have that much time. So I was really excited about this and I decided to make a plan and have my dad and I tour. And because it's under construction, you had to sign like a liability release and wear construction hats. So that's why in the video we're wearing hard hats. The bottom five stories were all still under construction like hardcore under construction no common areas were really done so what you see in the video is like what we saw the top three floors had units that were complete we were able to see those check it out and see what we think we toured so many apartments which I'm gonna show you now I wasn't really talking to you guys while I was filming so I'm probably just gonna film a voiceover pros and cons of all the apartments you're about to see what happens next which is a little bit of a journey all right so we arrive on scene and initially we were told that we were only allowed to see three units so I like skirt skirted through the parking garage area and my dad and I saw the first unit which was just a standard unit it was freeway facing which was not my favorite but it did have this giant closet that was literally like a bedroom in and of itself I'm like I don't even have enough clothes to put in this thing but I was like okay I also really don't like the wire shelves in this I think they're very cheap and hard to like move my clothes on and I also didn't like the carpet but that's throughout the whole building and I was kind of like okay fine there's gonna be carpet in my bedroom in my closet I have to accept it even though it's not my preference I filmed this first one really fast so I'm sorry it's kind of wonky but we were trying to see as many units as humanly possible because we thought we had a time constraint until our girl was so sweet and let us see more units the living room is small as you can see everything felt very boxy and compact which i didn't like it wasn't a very open layout even though it looks bigger on camera of course than it actually was we had this nice little closet in the hallway that you can store coats in this would probably be like where i keep my shelves and printer it had everything that you needed it wasn't terrible in terms of of an apartment but it just wasn't my preferred layout the bathroom was also giant i was like why is the bathroom so big this is huge to me and i just was like i don't even need all that countertop space it's wild after apartment number one which was on the fifth floor we headed up to the seventh floor this is the top floor on this side and this was actually a common area it was really gorgeous as you can see nice lighting good views you can kind of see more of the style that's going on here and then we headed to apartment number two, and what was so unique about this apartment was instead of it being a long, skinny box layout, it was spread out more lengthwise. So you had three windows across, which made it extra bright inside. It had this huge bathroom, which again, I don't really need. This would be my bedroom. It was a nice size. It had a huge closet that was super perfect. Smaller than the last one, which 
was fine because I obviously could not even fill this up. I was blown away. I was like, what is a walk-in closet? I don't understand. This is amazing, unreal, and good lighting too. This has more details of the kitchen. I was kind of looking more closely at the furnishings and the appliances, which weren't the nicest. They were kind of the cheapest you can get. That was a little bit disappointing. Next, we were off to the apartment on the eighth floor on the other side, so another penthouse suite. This was a corner unit, and it was insanely expensive. I think it was over 2400 a month which was definitely out of my price range but obviously the place is huge she's gorgeous i did not like the fact that my closet i had to walk through my bathroom to get to just kind of a weird layout thing but obviously not a make or break deal the main key to this apartment was the lighting i was blown away it also had a juliet balcony which i thought was cool across the hall also on the top floor was this unit it also had three windows across and a juliet balcony pretty nice i enjoyed the bedroom, I thought the layout of the closet was appropriate. I liked the bathroom. The only thing that really bothered me about this apartment was the layout right here in the living room. It just seemed like a weird place for me to put a TV on a TV stand that would block the walkway to the bathroom. I don't know, maybe I'm being too nitpicky. This was another top floor one bedroom unit, pretty standard. It was south facing, so it had really good direct sunlight. Definitely felt the brightness in there. It also had a balcony, which was nice, but the con again was the layout of the living room. It felt weird putting a couch there and then having the doorway to the balcony. But again, bathroom standard, good storage, really enjoyed that. And yeah, this one didn't blow me away. It was a little bit average, but also could be very practical. And having a balcony is so nice, especially just being able to escape outside. This is another kind of standard unit. This one faced inward into the courtyard, which made it a little bit dark, but it did have a balcony. Was nice, standard, again, nothing blown away. And because you were on the top floor, you did kind of get a view. So it was better than the others, but yeah didn't like looking into the courtyard thing thought that was weird it's these ones with the extra windows that are super nice. this is actually this is 750 cents per feet and it's priced at 2014 dollars okay 2014. This apartment was facing west toward the freeway, so it probably would never work for me because of the noise and filming would be very difficult. Plus, the living room layout we figured out would also not work for the furniture that I had. But it was good to see, had three windows, very bright, and honestly was not opposed to the kitchen and living room layout. It's very similar to apartment number two, which I enjoyed. Very open living spaces. You could put the TV right here. Okay. Yeah. And then the couch goes right here. Yeah. The TV is there. It's like very normal. Then couch here. It's a tiny couch, so that's fine. This wall also you can. Yeah. So the last apartment that we saw today was the most affordable option out of everything that we saw. It was less than $1,500 a month, and this place also is running a special where you could get one month free, so that knocked at least $100 off the price of everything. This one was very, very boxy though. It was on the fifth floor. The closet was decently sized. Obviously this would work plenty for me. This is bigger than what I had at my old apartment, but not the big walk-in closet. I also figured out how to finally put this in the zoomed out mode wide angle because I was using my dad's phone. So now you can see the layout a little bit better. It looks bigger because again, it's wide angle, but it was very small and boxy. Good morning, guys. It is actually the next day and I never updated you after the tours because to be honest, I was really sad. My dad and I went through the entire tour process and all along we had our eyes set on this one apartment and I was like ready to just go home and apply and just have it be a done deal. So we walk outside and we're talking to our amazing tour guide. She was literally an angel and made the whole experience so great. I think we were touring with her for over two and a half hours. My dad had asked her is anyone else also looking at this unit and she was like yes this one guy was but I'm not really sure if he's applied or anything so we asked her to check and she did and the guy had put in an application for the exact unit that I wanted. I was so disappointed. <laughs> so now basically what's happening is that we have to wait to see if this guy gets approved and we'll know by Thursday if he got approved. But honestly, like I know how these things work. They pretty much approve anyone. And I feel like anyone who is looking at this building and pre-leasing this far in advance is obviously gonna get accepted unless he has applied to multiple apartment places and is just holding this unit and then decides to go with a different unit. I feel like it's his, I'm not gonna get it. It made me 
me rethink things a lot because my other options are one I could go with my number two choice which was more expensive like a lot more expensive but a really cool unit that I love or I could go down a floor which is the same exact floor plan but it has a balcony on it it costs two hundred dollars a month more you know it's doable and you could justify it a lot of different ways but I also am like I feel like I need to see other apartment buildings because I've done like the search online but I feel like I need to see other stuff in person and make sure I'm getting the best value being where I want to be and it's kind of hard because it's like I know that's the area I want and that's why I was so set on that building but there's another area or two that I also could see myself in it's kind of like this hard decision that needs to be made so I kind of came to the conclusion that I just need to see more buildings and that's what we're gonna do in about an hour my dad and Katie and I are gonna go look at another building that has been on my list for a long time I've always liked it kind of know the area that it's around and we're gonna go look at some one bedrooms and just see what's out there and compare our options that is the apartment update a little bit disappointing I honestly told my dad I was like I feel like we're in New York and it's like a competitive apartment thing if I end up not going through with the building that I toured yesterday that I kind of like already know where I'm gonna end up and can be in communication with their leasing office so that when a great unit comes available I can just like immediately go into that when I'm ready so yeah that is the update Katie and I headed into apartment number two we got to see three different units two of which were one bedrooms and then one was the penthouse which you'll see and here we are in the unit very different style much more my style in terms of how the windows are and the coloring everything was just a little bit spiced up it had pretty nice views which i also really enjoyed and of course a super nice walk-in closet with great this is like stuff from the container store, the organizational drawers. I just thought it was very nice, much more appealing than the wire stuff. But obviously those are little things, not very important make or break items. The only con with this apartment is the living room space. And I wish I showed it better in this film, but you guys, I could not even have like my tiny little table in the living room. It did have a balcony. This one was nice. And again, gorgeous, fun, Portland views. The bathroom was also very nice. I enjoyed it and it was bright, had everything I needed. Simple, clean, um, yeah, that was this apartment. But again, the size of the living room would probably never work, especially because I like to entertain and have people over. This is the second one bedroom that we got to see. This was actually an ADA unit, so it was on the ground floor, but it had some real nice perks. The bathroom was really huge. Like I could put a storage thing right there. It was very nice. The bedroom was really bright. I can't remember if this faced south. I think it did. There was no walk-in closet on this guy, but again, I don't think that's super necessary. This is the same exact size of closet that I had last time, and because the bedrooms are bigger, I can actually have my dresser in my bedroom, which would be quite the upgrade. Again, the only problem with this place was that the living room would never work with my couch. Like, I had nowhere to put a couch and a table, and it would kind of turn your kitchen into an alleyway, and I have the tiniest furniture, so I was very frustrated that that would not work out right there. Like, it would be very hard to decorate and feel very small and also block the doorway to the balcony. The real gem to this unit was the balcony. It was huge. As you can see, you could put an entire couch out here, but little did we know we were about to be blown away because we looked at the penthouse just for fun. This is the penthouse. Whoa, girl. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my God. Henry. Henry. Shut up. You can see my favorite bridge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Obviously we were blown away by this unit. The views are insane. Lighting is superb. This could be a really nice little office or an extra bedroom. Really nice kitchen, wonderful appliances, spot on furnishings. It was just truly incredible. I think the price, if anyone's curious, was 4,800 a month, which is obviously out of budget, but Katie and I were just touring it for fun, having a ball on this tour, and it also had a huge balcony. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, who wants to be my roommate? Let's move in. Is that spooky looking down there? No. That's because you're afraid of heights. So the last part of this building that we got to tour was this common space. It was on the very, very top floor of the building. It had incredible views. Probably the most ideal common space I've seen 
the flooring was beautiful everything about it just was very nice and i could see myself working or studying up here the deck also wrapped around the entire building you could rent out this kitchen the only thing that was interesting about this building was that there was no gym inside the building so you actually got a membership to 24 hour fitness oh and i was filming that because you could see mount hood just barely through the clouds which you know was very impressive to me so overall had a really great experience if you remember how we were at the turn when we set it up, we wouldn't yeah. go to the TV. The couch was going to be too cold. Now it's going to be, we kept moving. But we wouldn't, forward. we wouldn't go that unit, you know. What were they thinking? I mean, are yeah, you, weird, cooking grease weird is gonna, cooking grease is going to be on the back edge of your couch. Yeah, it's that close. We need to take Doug to look at New York apartments. Yeah, and then he'll really and he's be, be like, like, oh. Katie's moving into the penthouse. Henry, we're moving into the penthouse. We'll I, it be was neighbors. adorable. I loved it. Yeah, I was honestly very impressed if the living room thing wasn't such a big deal. We'll see. I'm not in quite the rush where I need to get one of those units because it's not like I fell in love. Like, yeah, they weren't super open. Yeah, it wasn't very open. But then they have like the common spaces that are very nice. And I like the gym membership. We're enjoying our free kombucha. We're gonna take a little lap. I left you guys at the second apartment building and I never gave you a full update of what happened. I think I'm gonna save that for the next video because I do have a very important update. Stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these apartment shopping videos and learn something new like coming along with me. I love filming them. I think it's super interesting to see what different apartments in different areas look like. Everyone's so different and sometimes things weigh more on a category for one person than it does for another. Today's question of the day is going to be what is something in an apartment or a home that you cannot compromise on? For me, location is really important to me but also the washer dryer. That's it for today. I love you guys so much. Updates to come. I mean, you know I ain't lying, cause I hate wasting time. You said soon we'll be leaving this place, and a life to find. How you will